the experiment we are doing is convection. The items you'll need ice, ice. <laughs> metal, and a plastic object. First, you take an ice cube and you put it in the metal object. Then, then you take, you take an another ice cube and put it in the plastic one. So, as you can see from this one, the ice cube and the metal objects are already melting. Even and this one just still froze. So the question was, which one of these would melt faster? The hypothesis was that the ice cube will melt on the plastic because it is warmer. The plastic one was warmer, yes, but the pan is a good heat conductor, so it makes you feel like it's cold, but it's really just taking away the heat from your body. And the conclusion was that the um, the metal one melted faster because it's a good conductor and the plastic one is an experiment with radiation. And the things you'll need are... What you'll need is a cup of ice. The second thing you'll need is a cup of water. you need to put both items in the microwave for a minute. The question was what will happen to the ice? Our hypothesis was the ice would melt when coming out of the microwave. As you see, it barely melted. Ice is transparent at microwave and radio frequencies. The molecules in ice can't vibrate as they do in water, so they won't heat up. Last experiment is convection. What we will need are is hot water in the cup. Our second item is room temperature water cooling up, I mean getting held up by a cup. Uh, our third item is two food colorings, red and blue. We are now putting in the food coloring. You put a dot of blue food coloring right there. Doing this cool. Right there. Then red goes in the middle. Oh, that looks so weird. Yeah, but it's cool. Okay. You then put a hot cup of boiling water under the container. Close. As you can see, the red food coloring is rising from the low pressure, and the blue is going in to replace the heat with the uh, other water. So the red is Orange. rising, and then the blue is spreading around to replace the red because it's symbolizing the low pressure, and it's rising because heat of the, the hot water. It's so the cool. Container. And then the blue is replacing it because there's all the heat is uh, rising. Our question was, what will happen to the red food coloring? The hypothesis was, when the hot water is under <laughs> the container, the water will rise because the heat rises. The conclusion is that thanks to the heat from the boiling water underneath, the heat rose, making the, the blue, which was colder, go in, mixing the colors.